I'm gonna catch my breath. The wind's blowing into your mouth so fast you can't breathe. You don't realize how strong a Category 5 is until you've really been in one and you don't want to be in one. That's me in the wind tunnel at the University of Washington. I just experienced winds of 160 miles per hour. I'm Dr. Steve Lyons, hurricane expert at the Weather Channel. I did this to feel for myself the awesome power of hurricane force winds. Now we're really starting to see the wind pick up at 50 miles per hour. This is where we start to see significant tree damage and bush damage. Now we're at Category 1, minimal Category 1 hurricane on the San Francisco scale of 74. And if you lose your balance here, you can really fall down easily. Still Category 1 hurricane. The winds are still pretty strong, getting even stronger. The noise in your ears is very, very loud. What we're going to show you is getting a little dangerous. We're going to stop, put on some protective gear, and show you what Category 2, 3, 4, and Category 5 winds are really like. As the wind speeds increase, the roar of the wind really drowned out my attempt to talk. And it became harder and harder to stand up. When the winds reached about 130, it got difficult to breathe. All the wind coming toward me felt like I was suffocating. As I approached Category 5, I was sure glad that rope was on. And I could only take the 160 mile per hour winds for a few seconds. The muscles are spasming out. I can't hold my hands still. Unbelievable. Can you imagine being in the Florida Keys in 1935 on something? That strong came through with no place to go. It was an incredible experience, even a little scary, but it gave me a new appreciation for the power of wind and how devastating a hurricane can be. For the Weather Channel, I'm Dr. Steve Lyons.